welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Hannah and today I'm doing a video all about the habits and tips that I have witnessed uh, successful people having. So I read a lot of articles whether in magazines online or books about just like things you can do to improve your day to make it more productive to get the most done, to feel confident, to feel powerful in your work and in your life, in your school, whatever that you do. I decided to sort of take all that knowledge. I, I applied a lot of it to my own life. And so now I want to put that into a video for you guys. So that's why we're here today. And it also doesn't have to apply to work. So I do have my own business. I just started it up. I help female creative entrepreneurs with their brand or their blog, their YouTube channel and social medias. Um, I help manage and consult them. So if you wanna check it out, links below. But uh, even if you don't have a business, say you're in high school also like me and you just do school and like it's very overwhelming or say you just have a YouTube or, or you're just living everyday life, uh, these tips can be applied just to improve your day, to, prof to improve your success. And this video is exciting because it's also a, a small giveaway. So studio, and because for this video I'm actually pairing up with Studio, a Swedish brand that makes absolutely stunning headphones. Um, they sent me their Vasa Bla Studio earphones in black and rose gold and I have a pair for me that you'll see me using this video and I have a pair for you guys. So if you want to know how you can win this high-end pair of earphones, they're, oh, they're also Bluetooth. But if you want to know how to win these, you can read the description box below. But I also recommend you watching this entire video because it does have some very helpful um, tips and habits that you can apply in your own life. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You see it all over YouTube and just because you're not a YouTuber doesn't mean you can't have your own morning or night routine. Establishing a routine allows you to fall in habit of getting everything that you want done. So write out your dream morning and night routine, everything that you could possibly wanna do every single morning and night. Keep following it day by day. The first few days will be hard, but after a while it'll become a habit and you'll wake up and just start going through your routine and feel super productive every single day. And on that routine, make sure that you wake up earlier so you can get more done. I know if you maybe you have to get up early for school or work anyway, so you never thought about setting your alarm even earlier than that, but just sit it back 25, 30, 15 minutes, turn off snooze so you're not tempted, put your phone across from your bed so you have to get up, and you will be so surprised of by how much better you feel at the end of the day when you get up earlier. It may seem like you're tired when you first wake up, but what I like to do is the first thing in the morning is I do something that I really love. So I really love editing. I really, really love going on Pinterest and getting inspired. I don't recommend scrolling through social media. Do something that you love and that way you have an incentive for getting out of bed. So when you do get out of bed, make sure to make your bed. And sorry for my wet hair in these clips. You'll feel so much better when you come back home after school or work and your bed is made. You won't want to climb back in it once it's made either. So it's a simple task, but making your bed can make a huge difference in your day. Also, try to tidy up um, 10 minutes out of your day. Focus on one section a day. So let's say this day was my bedside table. The next day it may be my desk. So only spend 10 minutes at a time each and every day cleaning up a part of your room and you will find that your room will stay cleaner for longer and you will never have to spend a whole Sunday completely deep cleaning your room because you are doing a little bit every day. For some reason, successful people, no matter how busy they are, they always find time to take care of their body and get a good workout in. So here I just love to grab my headphones, put on my cute workout gear, and head to the gym, even if it's just for some yoga or weights. Um, but I like to work out in the mornings on weekends and nights on weekdays. And working out is going to make you feel more confident, feel like you can get more done, and it recharges you if you've been working all day and just need a nice break for your mind and your body. Maybe your parents tell you to do this all the time, or maybe they don't, but either way, you should take some vitamins, find some vitamins you like, whether they be pills or gummies, take them every day. You can either take them in the morning or when I can remember, I like to take them at night so I wake up feeling good. Um, so yeah, I love my multivitamins. Huge thing that I always see successful women and men doing is making smoothies or juices. Ever wonder how they can be so healthy and so busy? Like I bet you they drink a lot of smoothies and juices. So here I'm just making a chocolate green smoothie. My smoothies vary. It's usually just whatever I can find in my house. So here I had some frozen blueberries, some banana, some hemp seeds, chia seeds, chocolate protein powder. I either put a handful of spinach or kale in every single smoothie I make, no matter the flavor, because I gotta get those greens in and smoothies are great for that. So I either add a handful of greens or a scoop of this greens powder. Top it off with some unsweetened almond milk, blend it up, and I have a great breakfast or snack. I also have a vlog where I show you my at-home green juice recipe without a juicer, so I will have that linked below if you wanna see how to get a lot of greens in. 
So I talked about this earlier, but one thing you need to make sure you do for yourself every day is to get inspired and find out what inspires you. So is it making something physical like a piece of art or an inspiration board like I have above my desk? Or or maybe you just like to read an inspirational book, maybe a novel or an autobiography. Like find something that inspires you and do it every day. Social media cannot be one of them. So find something non-digital that inspires you and pursue it. Having this bit of inspiration is going to recharge your soul, your mind. Now when you go to create something, it is going to be a better quality because you have a new refreshed mindset. The next habit to pick up is to set daily and weekly and yearly goals. So, you know, there's a difference between goals and a to-do list. To-do lists are great. I make these all the time, but goals are something that maybe aren't tangible. It's not just finishing a project, but it's doing this project to your best ability or not talking about people behind their back so much today or praying for that one person this week like try to make your goals non-tangible things not like a to-do list and you will find yourself becoming a better person by creating this habit day by day having a minimalist mindset is super big right now and being a minimalist may seem a little intimidating not but go through and get rid of all the clothes that you wouldn't buy if you saw in a store today it's so much easier to get dressed in the morning you'll be wearing what you like and and it will improve your style now that you know the pieces you love, remember to dress the part. It's the quote, don't dress for the job you have, but the job you want. So even if I am just at home working, I really try to dress up, shoes and all, something little. And it really does help. It really gives you that extra power and motivation. So we simplified your closet. Now also try to simplify your makeup. I find when I keep just the bare amount of makeup products that I need on a daily basis in a separate makeup bag from the rest of my makeup, I can just grab that makeup bag in the morning and get through my makeup routine in half the time. Even if you don't work from home, still create a work zone in your room or if you have a little office area or wherever you want it to be. You can work on homework here, you can work on exciting projects, you can just read or plan out your Instagram posts. Whatever you wanna do, create your work zone. Here I'm working on my website business. Another habit that I have found helps me get through my work so much quicker is to use the do not disturb setting on my phone. I get so sidetracked when I see a Snapchat notification or a text message, I feel like I have to respond right then when I really don't. So by putting on do not disturb, I get through the tasks I need to do and have a separate time for responding and playing on social media. Okay guys, this habit changed my life and changed my school and home emails. Organize your inbox by color coding it. So all you do is go down to the create a label in Gmail. It creates your label, you title it, and then you can color code all of your labels. But yeah, so I have all of my tabs color coded. When you get a new email that needs to go there, you just drag it over and it helps organize my life so much more and feel like a boss. Another health habit is to always carry a water bottle with you when you can. That way, whenever you even think you're going to get thirsty, you'll mindlessly drink and get in that extra H2O that you need every day. I find when I'm happier, I'm more successful, and something that makes me really happy is to have some plants around my workspace. So bring in some plants, whether that be bamboo or fresh flowers, and get those happy plant vibes that only some pretty fresh flowers can bring. I know it doesn't seem like it at the time, but actually packing up all of your stuff and getting piles ready for you to take the night before really helps. So whether that be packing up your backpack, packing up your briefcase or your gym bag or your after school bag, like whatever you need the next day, get it all laid out and set it by the door so that the next morning you don't have to worry about forgetting anything because you already had the whole night to remember stuff that you forgot and it'll just make your mornings a breeze. So this next one, you may be like, wait, what? Learn to learn what does that mean basically this means that whether you're in school or trying to learn something for your career or whatever you're learning don't think of it as work or homework or a burden think of it as that you're just expanding your brain expanding your knowledge and that it's really benefiting you so even if the subject is super boring like biology but sort of having that mindset um, allows you to fully grasp um, ideas better and sort of have a better attitude about learning things that you may not necessarily always want to learn about. So some habits to start like winding down Everyone needs that time to themselves. So whether you meditate or read a devotion, do some Bible journaling, try to have at least five to 10 minutes a day of where you're just winding down, maybe listening to some soft music, writing in your journal, whatever it is, you need this time. Successful people always 
make time for themselves so also pamper yourself have a bath do a face mask a hair mask go out to eat with your girlfriends or whatever you want to do but have that me time you need a break and again a break will help you recharge and be able to work better in the future okay guys that was it for this video if, if you learned anything from this video i would love to hear about it comment that below comment any tips that you have below like really like i feel like when I hear people say comment down below in their videos, I just sort of ignore it. But really, it really helps me out. It helps others out. If you comment below, I'd love to talk to you. I reply to like almost every comment. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias to keep up with everything. And again, go read the description box to see how you can win your own pair of Bluetooth earplugs in black and rose gold. They're gorgeous and so nice. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys Wednesday, right? I think Wednesday is my next uploading day for my next video. Okay guys, stay happy and peace out. Bye. Hashtag content babe is my hashtag for my business. So hashtag girl boss, hashtag content babe. You can be it all.